Well, people are often concerned about keeping information about their finances private, but did you know that the way your estate plan is created can put your privacy at risk? Attorney Justin Randall is joining us from Hooper Law Office to explore this important topic. Good morning to you. Good morning. So there can be a lot of confusion with estate plans in regards to what information can be kept private, what will be public. Can you give us some clarification on this? Yeah, so when we're talking about private or public information with estate planning, really the big uh, distinction between when something would be public or private is whether or not somebody is potentially going through probate or not. Um, so, uh, you know, one of the most common misconceptions with wills is that they'll avoid probate, but really what they are is instructions to the probate court of how you want your assets divided and, you know, who you want in charge of the estate. So if you're going through probate, it's possible that the contents of the will itself will become public record, you know, who the beneficiaries are, uh, who that personal representative is, and that can be really concerning to a lot of people. So if they're looking to keep things private, there are alternatives to do that, um, but it usually involves uh, a little bit different planning. So what information is available when a person is planning with a will? Yeah, so, I mean, it can be the beneficiaries, who those beneficiaries are, uh, you know, because they can see the will itself. So if they're able to see the will, they're able to see maybe what percentage of the estate that beneficiary is getting, uh, who those beneficiaries are, and maybe, you know, how they're inheriting, whether they're inheriting with any sort of restrictions or, uh, or if it's kind of a fair game for them to use the assets however they want once they inherit it. And that can be really concerning in particular for people who have not minor children so much, but uh, young adult children who are inheriting. Uh, one of the big concerns is we want to prevent someone from taking advantage of somebody who maybe doesn't have as much uh, like investment experience themselves. So what information is available if you have one of those trust-based plans? So one of the best things about trust uh, when it comes to privacy is that it is not publicly available uh, during someone's lifetime or after they pass away because you're, there's no, uh, you don't have to submit it to the probate process. The trust-based plans, uh, as long as they're, the trusts are funded properly, will help that individual's estate avoid probate. Um, one of the other benefits of uh, privacy with a trust is that the beneficiaries themselves can be limited uh, to what they themselves know about it. So what I mean by that is you might not want all of the other beneficiaries to know exactly what everyone else is getting to, uh, to avoid conflict. And so they can be limited to just knowing what they themselves are getting. 